Okay, we are here live at the RFL booth, and I've got Lorraine Turner. She's got a ton of uh, exhibits up, and she does applique. We had a question from Mary Lowe on the wall about thread for applique and all different kinds of things. So say hello, ladies. How are you today? Come on. All right, wonderful. So tell us what you've got here, and tell us all about your your horse and all the work you've done. And let's talk, let's chat about this. Well, this piece is designed with, you see a lot of cave in it. Yeah, I'm always drawn cave. to things. I'm looking for things in nature when I create my fabric collages. This fabric collage was designed with Aurifil 28 weight, 12 weight, 40 weight, 50 weight. So if you look in the main. Now tell us real quickly, I just learned this, so tell us about the, the uh, Aurifil and how it's different because it has two ply versus three threads in it. Do you want me to jump yeah, in? Yeah, yeah, jump so in. Yeah, we were talking earlier about different thread weights and plies. Right. So someone is applicating with, for example, a 60 weight metler, that's going to be three strands of cotton twisted together. But with an RFL, the RFL doesn't have 60 weight, but they have a 50 weight, and that's only two plies of 50 weight together. So it's going to be just as thin as a metler 60 weight. RFL also has an 80 weight two ply cotton thread, which is perfect for English paper piecing, um, for needle turn applique. I use this lovely little top color myself when I do um, needle turn applique. Wonderful. And this blends into any background and any color of your applique that you're turning under. Wow. So RFL 80 weight two ply, it, it, it's almost on the same order as a silk 100 weight, mm -hmm. but it doesn't act like silk because it's cotton. Right. Remember too, to always not the last end that you cut. So okay. your first end cut is going to go through your needle. Okay. The last end you cut is going to go is going to get knotted because thread has a nap. So you want the nap to go with your stitching and not against your Great stitching. Great All right. Thank you, so Karen. Let Lorraine talk okay, about Lorraine, her tell us about this wonderful cake well, horse. I wanted to speak about the 80 weight is in the eyelashes. So when I want something to be really fine, I use an 80 weight, and it comes in so many colors and when i work with my animals they're in all different colors you know okay. 270 colors that i can use in my background i also use this uh, thread because it keeps my machine clean we all like to spend a lot of money on machines and if they have a a, 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 a a one that throws off a lot of lint it's just it's a nightmare and i do a lot of this type of work so our fill is the only way for me Wonderful, thank you. And you also have an exhibit here, so tell me about that. I do. I have a special exhibit, 26 pieces, my heart's common 26 thread. pieces, wow. That's wonderful. How long did that take you to do? Well, I only started doing this work in May of 2016. Wonderful. <laughs> we love that. We love that. That's so inspiring. And I and teach workshops, and this is one of the pieces <gasps> that we're going to be doing. That is, is stunning. Food. So I do all stunning. of the strippings. This is raw applique. So I'm using the RFL 50 weight, and I'm using all other colors, because I need to blend to the fabric that I choose. Kate has a lot of brilliant colors, so I'm always looking for the brilliant colors. For That's it. fabulous. All right, That's well, it. show me another. Oh my goodness, I love this piece. I love this. Texture. I work with a lot of texture, so I will use water soluble with RFL stitched over the water soluble. Look at this, you guys. Washed away, Look at this. and that, that makes fur. It makes flowers, laura fauna, makes everything, mane, tails. That's wonderful, and that's aurafil, what? That's all aurafil, and I use 50 weight for that. That's wonderful, well you are just, I mean, you're rocking it. This is just amazing Thank work. you, thank you. Okay, here is, right. here is Lorraine's uh, name, and Lorraine Turner, and some of her, picture of her exhibit here, and she teaches classes. And I'm at calicohorses.com. Calicohorses.com. All of my work goes for endangered animals. Everything I really? do supports endangered animals. You know, that's so wonderful, because I believe, I coined this phrase from a friend of mine, that quilting and sewing is a healing art. Yes, it certainly is. Thank you so very thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you.